Yeah, I moved into Hunter Thompson's basement, and uh, which uh, there was no shortage of, uh, which he didn't tell me, there was no shortage of uh, brown recluses oh. in his basement. Yeah, that was pretty frightening. Yeah, brown recluse is a really vicious little spider. Like uh, when it bites you, it sort of, I, I, it, uh, yeah, it digs into your skin. Yeah, eats your skin away. So I thought that was pretty funny. Little joke Hunter played on me. One of the other funny jokes that Hunter played on me was uh, my nightstand in the dungeon, as we call it, the, in the basement. It was uh, I was laying down there reading, you know, doing my, my research and, and working. Um, and I was in a, laying down there reading and smoking a cigarette, and my ashtray was on this little nightstand thing that oddly resembled a keg of gunpowder. And it was, in fact, a keg of gunpowder. <laughs> yeah. Those are a couple of little trinkets that I uh, was able to walk, luckily able to walk away with from, uh, from my experience of living with Hunter S. Thompson. The first, the first time I met Hunter, he invited me to his house and uh, he, uh, he said, would you like to shoot something? And I said, sure, you know, as one does, you know. So he, he pulled down a, a chrome, you know, nickel plated uh, riot gun. Uh, 12, I think it was 12 gauge pump shotgun off of the uh, off the wall. Set it aside. Grabbed an enormous tank of propane, uh, and then uh, and then gave me some things that were about the size of match match boxes, uh, and we taped them. Uh, we were taping them to this side of this propane tank, and then we took that out in his backyard with the uh, nickel plated 12 gauge, which was now loaded, and uh, I stood about uh, 15 20 yards away from it, and. Uh, he wanted me to shoot that, and I did. It was like a rite of passage, you know? Or like, you know, you know, if you fuck this up, you're not playing me, you know? It's kind of... <laughs> so I, I leveled the beast and uh, pulled the trigger, and there was this enormous explosion. Enormous, you know, like, rafter, you know, 60 feet, you know, of ball of fire, you know? And we were all kind of, <gasps> you know? <laughs> Thinking that this thing was gonna come and eat us. And and it didn't. And, it got, and then Hunter kindly told me about the time that he did the same thing and, and got hit by shrapnel and fire. Yeah, immediately after I blew that up.